Today's heat having its impacts across the Metroplex from dog owners to families to firefighters. Fox First Peyton Yeager joins us live with more on that. Peyton. Blake, like Ali said, we will be near record heat for several days this week. It's been the same story over the last month or so, and some people here in Dallas decided to get outside, but for many, it did not last long. Sizzling temperatures didn't stop Dedrick Armstrong and his family from a Sunday cookout at White Rock Lake. A lot of water. North Texas is bracing for a new week with another excessive heat warning set for at least the next 48 hours. Oh, that's hot. Sunday, the official temperature at DFW Airport topped out at 106 after a few days of 90 degree weather. But that relief is now gone. Well, sometimes you got to get out the house and enjoy the weather. So we've about hit our uh, our max here. I mean, it's like 100 degrees. The scorching weather causing Jeff McKee's Australian Shepherd Nelson to last outdoors for only a short time. No more than 20 minutes. Just across the lake, dog owners watch their pups playfully cool off, like Hannah McElhenney and her husky Tammy. I've never been through this, and my lawn is scorched. It's pathetic. The dangerous wave over DFW is forecasted into next week as the heat index hovers 110 plus. Fire danger levels remain high as first responders continue to work through the high temps. Sunday afternoon, Dallas firefighters in full gear battle the heat while responding to a house fire call in Oak Cliff. Texas's power grid will once again be tested as it braces for another week of near record heat. During last week's high temperatures, ERCOT asked consumers to cut back on energy use. Over it, but you can't change it because it's Texas. For now, there's no end in sight for the North Texas heat dome with only half of the summer complete. Yeah, I'm scared of August. When August gets here, what are we going to be facing? 110 or, you know. Thankfully, MedStar tells us no serious heat-related calls today. They tell us they did have a handful yesterday, but of course they are on standby for the rest of this week. Blake, back to you.